Okay, we got our John Deere here, the 5055D. Um, we've gotten where you go to try to uh, start it, and like as soon as you turn the key, pops a fuse. And uh, so we're going to show you what causes that and how to temporarily fix it and then how to actually fix the problem. Um, Y'all just stay tuned and uh, watch how this happens. And uh, it's pretty easy, uh, not not nothing hard. Uh, and I think this works for several other tractors. Um, it just may be located in a different position. Anyway, um, we'll get this done and uh, we'll uh, we'll get this thing going going again. All right, thank you. Problem is, as soon as, as soon as you turn the key, pop a fuse. Um, let's see if I can show you which fuse it is. Fuse box just kind of hanging out here. But, yeah, cover's gone and everything. This bottom fuse right here, that tin fuse, pop. And it does it just as soon as you turn the key. So, as soon as you turn the key, it pops the fuse. And uh, so the fix is this uh, uh, temperature sensor right here. It's on the, uh, the thermostat neck there. I guess that's the thermostat. Anyway, right there, uh, a sensor. Just simply unplug that, let it hang. It will run just fine. So I'm just going to replace that, that right there and uh, put a new one on, and hopefully it won't do that anymore. If it continues to do it, we'll just leave it unplugged. <laughs> now, hopefully that fixes it. Um, I've seen several videos of people just unplugging that on different uh, model John Deere tractors and saying it's fixed. But, uh, yeah, I'd rather replace it and, uh, and have it truly fixed. Here we go. Uh, hold on. Okay, here's the new part from Amazon. Uh, it's pretty inexpensive. Took uh, about a week to get it. But uh, we'll brass fitting with the plug right here. And uh, we'll get it changed out. Went ahead and pulled the cap on the radiator just to uh, make sure there wasn't any pressure because the tractor had been running earlier. Uh, Give it time to cool down. Now we'll get in here with a 7 8 wrench and hopefully there's room to suck her in here. And, uh, don't take much. Sure. It has an old ring, so it doesn't take a whole lot to tighten it down. That sucker is hot. It's just freaking hot out here. I cannot get that in there. They put too much stuff in the way. All right. Okay. 
kind of expect this to lose some fluid while doing it. I do have more John Deere coolant. Uh, okay, just use regular coolant. I don't know why. Well, hard to get anything in there. They just paint everything. Damn. Yes, that was hot. Well, let's say one. No, we don't. But if it was hot, it would. It's hot. <sighs> Come on. Ah. <sighs> Just gonna let that thing drain down a little bit. Okay, now the sucker's cooled down. Or uh, finished draining, I guess, is what I mean. Back in here. It would be easier if you took off this guard here, but there's a gazillion bolts holding that in. One, two, three. Well, then that's holding reservoir. Four, well, maybe. Maybe that wouldn't be so bad. All right, hold on. All right, let's see. Goodness.
And get this card out of the way. Oh, yeah. Much better. Do that in the first place. Take tip. All right. Oh, definitely you remove that guard. Oh, so much easier. And just put those together, click that back in, and now put this guard back on. Should have took off in the first place. Ah, always. Tighten that one down. All right, it's all back together. All right. Okay, we know in the start, let's put the, uh, uh, 
Okay, we know it'll start. Let's put the coolant back in it and uh, we should be done. Pretty simple. All right, let's see if we can do this without spilling too much. Because, uh, All right, that's full. Fill this little hole over here. We're doing good. We were doing good until we tried to fill that. We spilled. All right. Caps back on. All right, just a quick rinse, get all this spilt off of it. Okay, uh, simple as that. Make sure you take that guard off. Just one bolt through there, and then uh, these bolts here. You know, kind of maneuver out of the way. Gives you a lot better access. Um, I wish I would have done that one, trying to take it off. I probably would have got it pulled out and new one in, not losing as much coolant. But I did have coolant on standby, so we got it refilled. I got rinsed off. Hopefully we don't end up with any kind of residue from that coolant that I spilt on it. Uh, you know, it leaves a kind of a uh, oily film on there. So anyway, now we'll get it started and, uh, and get back at it. It should be good to go. All right. So y'all like this video? I do have other videos on the tractor. I have other video calls on my trucks and my cars and other small engine stuff be sure to check those out and uh make sure you uh you subscribe you share and uh and like these videos it helps me out it keeps me moving forward and uh so when i can the more i move forward the more stuff like this i can bring you more stuff on the trucks i can bring you anyway Thanks for watching. Uh, we'll catch you next time. Bye.